Several area farmers learned Tuesday about federal requirements for safe storage of fuel on their properties. Right. Okay, it's the same way. It's the same way with your spill plans and with the EPA. You have to have your spill plan, and they don't know you have it until they show up to your house and they knock on your door. But if they show up and they knock, the first thing they're going to ask for is your SPCC plan. Okay, this is your first line of defense. About 16 farmers attended this seminar put on at the Rock Garden by United Cooperative. Clark from Ag Compliance of Oklahoma talked about new federal rules that went into effect in May dealing with farm compliance. If you fall within a, a certain uh, threshold, uh, let's say a, a capacity to store, the, the rule starts at 1,320 gallons and says if you, ha if you can store greater than 1,320 gallons of total oil byproduct at your farm or facility, then you have to start complying with this rule. Secondary containment is the way that you're going to be able to contain the fuel if it were to spill out of its primary containment, which would be its storage tank. So secondary containment could be a double wall tank, it could be uh, a diked area, which uh, could consist of concrete, earth and gravel, or galvanized steel. Farmers generally are aware of the requirements, but often don't know specifically how to comply, Clark says. Others aren't sure they can afford to comply. You know you're not. I know we're not, but we don't have the money to do it. You know, it costs money to build a dike and that, and with milk prices being so crazy now and being pushed off. Most farmers can get into compliance for well under $5,000, says United Cooperative. The co-op is holding similar seminars around the state each day for the rest of this week.